Hello. Thank you for calling Sheraton Ann Arbor Hotel. Thank you for calling guest service. This is Don Joe. How may I assist you? Don Joe, I just had a question about um, elevator usage. The elevator? Are you, are you familiar with the elevator usage? Uh, no, I'm not. Is there a time limit on them? It's my real question. It's just how long are we allowed to do? Because it's, it's my son. He's real excited to go on the elevators, and I was wondering how long we can do them for it. For before they close, or? For how long he's allowed on there. Um... Yeah, I guess. I'll be with him. Only... I'll be with him to supervise him. Because he's young. He's like seven or eight or nine or something. I don't remember. Okay. But he's at, at that age where he'll just do the same stupid shit over and over. So he could probably ride it for a couple <laughs> of hours if I'll let him. Like I said, I'll be with him. But I am going to be pretty drunk by, by the time we do this. So I don't know if that counts. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as like operating a, a vehicle or something if I'm pushing the butt. I don't, I don't want to get in any trouble. As long as you're being okay. The only thing is we do have... I would say anything after before like 8:30 because we do have a couple of rooms that are across from the elevator. Okay. So in order for them not to hear that dinging. So you have to no the elevators get shut down at eight. No, uh, they'll be up. They're 24 hours. But if he's gonna go up and down, that's the only thing is there are rooms across from there and they'll hear the little ding go off. Oh well, what floors? And then we'll just we won't stop there. Uh, only on the first floor. Okay, we'll just skip that one, and we can ride him all night until he falls asleep then. Of course. All right, that sounds good. Thank- and then it's okay if I'm drunk? That's fine by you? Yep, that's fine. All right, that sounds good. Yourself. I wasn't sure. I thought there might be a problem with riding the elevators for hours <laughs> drunk with my son. Oh, yeah. No, um, as long if as you're he's, okay. He's not allowed to be drunk at all, though, right? Not at all. Okay. All right. Didn't think so. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I love you, too. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Good evening. This is Chaley from your 26 and Sycamore Hive. How may I direct your call? Well, um, I just had a question. I'm here with one of your, um, um, someone who works there. Um, I was just wondering, I, are do you guys, if they get charged with like um, a felony or something, do they lose their job automatically, or is it just if they go to have to go to court and they that miss work or something? That is a question that I do not have an answer to. Um, okay. Let me see if HR is going to be don't, tomorrow. Well, no, well, the thing is, is we're, we're about to go out right now and go wild in a little bit. And I don't want him to have that weighing down on his mind, you know, uh, that he might have not just have, you know, not have a job. Because in this country, you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, you know. But we were going to do some, like, drinking and driving and probably smash the mailboxes. Um, what about shoplifting? If he gets charged with shoplifting, is, he, is that an automatic fire? I will have to see if HR is in tomorrow. So you well, I don't. Okay, so then. I, I'm just because we're supposed to be going out tonight, you know. It's the thing. It's the event is tonight. But he's he's staying all scared. Like oh, I don't want to lose my job. I'm like, dude, you know, we'll, we'll go to court. It'll be a long time. You'll have plenty of time to figure it all out. He's talking about he loses it immediately, and that's what I'm saying. I would say it probably isn't going to be very good when we find out. That's for sure. Well, like, what's going to happen to him at work? Like I said, I, I don't know. I'd have to pass you that. Okay. Uh, Are there any crimes that you know of specifically that we should avoid? <laughs> and we're talking we're talking like nothing nothing harmful towards nobody. You know, just like theft, property damage, like larceny, things like that. Nothing violent. We're not crazy. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to answer this question. I'm just customer service. Okay. And I didn't tell you his name, right? No. Okay, good. All right, let's keep it that way, just for his protections. Hopefully we won't even get caught, though. But if we do, you know, I just, I'll have this, and, and I'll tell him, and we talked, okay? Okay. And then that way he can keep his job. Thank you. It's Thank six. you for calling South Minnesota Hy-Vee. This is Haley. How can I help you? Haley, I just had a question about the employees down there. Um, as a matter of policy, are they allowed to lie to the customers, or do they always have to tell the truth? Policy-wise, no. No which? No which one? To, we're not allowed to lie. Okay, so if they tell me something, then, it's, then it has to be a fact. Otherwise, still what? What happens if it's a lie? I mean, they would get in trouble with the manager. They get fired. So if they tell me they don't, if I, just for example, just if I ask for cream corn and they're like, we're out, and then if I find one, what do I do? I bring them to the manager and they fire him or what? No, they would, they would probably just get talked to about it. Well, how, okay. And then how many talking tos until a suspension or something? I'm just wondering if, because otherwise, then basically they're allowed to lie to me, and I won't, I won't, 
I won't know which way's up when I'm talking to him. I don't know what's reality and what's fiction anymore. Um, typically, I believe it's three. Three? Does that make sense? If you get in trouble like three times, it's kind of like oh. a three. Oh, yeah. well, okay, but are you are you lying to me now? No. <laughs> how do I, okay, how do I know that? Because you didn't sound very sure, and it might just be like a, a lie of being incorrect, you know, because he was presenting something to me as a factual statement. You said three. She said it kind of like a question, and so if that's not true, by your own admission, you'd have to be fired, right? Yes, if it got brought up to the managers multiple okay. times. Okay, well, I'd like to bring it up to the manager that you told me that if someone lies three times, they get fired, so it can count as one of your lies, because that doesn't sound right. Okay. So can you do me a solid, and please be honest on this one, so actually do it, or that'll be your second lie. Will you turn yourself in for me, so I don't have to come down there or nothing? I can, I can tell a manager, yes. Did you tell the manager that you lied to me about how many times you're allowed to lie, and that it should count as one of your lies, then? I will let them know. And then who's the manager on duty? Because I'll check in with them later when I do have more time. Because I'm in the bathroom right now. i got to wipe and stuff. So who's the manager on duty tonight? Bailey. Okay, I'll call back tomorrow and make sure that you got yourself in trouble with Bailey. Okay, sounds good. And don't Don't be a liar on this one. Thank you. Calling 26 IV Marin Road. This is Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Just a quick question. Um, I was wondering, are the employees down there, are they allowed to lie to the customers? No. Under any circumstances, no? Right. Okay. Because, I mean, like, you know, you when you're talking to the police and everything, they're allowed to lie to you to try and further their investigation. I was just wondering if, like, you guys, if, like, if he doesn't feel like going the, to the back to get me some creamed corn, if, if he lies to me about that, then that's not allowed. Right. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. No. Nope. They have to go. They they should go back and check, or unless they already know, because sometimes when they're sucking and then mm-hmm. like a, mm-hmm. that certain thing is on sale and they already know in the back that. Well, how, okay. Don't how do I? That, how am that. I supposed to know if they know or if they're lying or if they're telling the truth or if they're they're dirty liar or or what? As a, as a customer, I guess you wouldn't know. Okay, then what sort of, if I suspect an employee of lying, what are the um, procedures that I take? Then towards? you would want to talk to a manager. Are you, sh- okay. Um, and then what if it's just like an accident? Like what if they didn't know or something, but it's factually wrong? Is that still a lie? I'm sorry, can you re- f- repeat that question again for Okay, me? like if I, ask, if I ask the man for some corn and he says, we don't, we don't got no corn left, and then I find a corn... Is he still going to be fired if he really didn't think there was one left? Because I would if like, you, if you I'd find like to get the corn him on a different shelf. Yeah, or, yeah. Like if I well, find then, one. Well, then yeah, then he, we would. Be, I mean, then, if, the yeah, corn, if, he, the corn, if the corn wasn't on with the corn shelf. The corn it was down. It, and it, it was it down. Was on, it was down. This is what happened. Was it the corn was down? The corn was down. Corn down. Yes, correct. Down on a different shelf. Corn. Yeah, corn down. Yes. Well. Then you know if the where the corn should have been, if it was empty, then he probably wouldn't have looked at because maybe that shelf was supposed well, to be for peas. Well, he's still he's still a liar then though, isn't he? If he said there wasn't no corn and it was just that the corn was the corn was down and he didn't know about the corn down, then well, if even it was if, put placed on a different shelf, I wouldn't know it either if I and, was looking okay. at the shelf. Why? Well, but Jesus. am I lying? No, I just didn't. Well, I think you are. Like, I, just because you don't know I about would, the, mm, ma'am, I, I think if, you might be a liar to me. If I think the sh- if that shelf should have been peas, I'm not going to look at the peas to see if there's corn on that shelf. It was down there. It was the down. Third. Right, but it was down there, though, and he didn't know, and he told me it wasn't there, and it, I fucking thank God that I looked because I found it. Well, that's awesome. But okay, and then I want him fired or repercussions towards him or something. Then you need something. to talk to a manager. Put him on, then. I'm, why am I talking to you about this if you can't help me out? You're making me into looking like you're a liar, too. Okay, what was your then, name? I, then I'd be glad to be fired. Thank you. What's your name? Thank you, boy. This is Chase Allen. Okay. I, 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 listen, here's what had happened was I had asked him where the corn was, and he said there's no corn, and it was down there, though, is the thing. And I had found it, and that makes him a liar. And she at the front said that he would be held accountable for that, and I want her, her to be held accountable for lying, too. Okay. Thank I'm you. I'm sorry for that. Yep. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm terribly sorry for that. Okay, thank you. Anything else I can help you with? No, that'll be it. All right. You have a I, good day. I appreciate yep. it. I love you, too. Bye. Yep. Bye. 
Thanks for calling. Hi, V on East 10th Street. This is Annie. How can I help you? Hi. Hi, V. Hi. 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 Um, I just I wanted to let somebody know I'm going to be coming down there. Um, but un unlike last time, because I know it was like it was just this big thing, you know, uh, unlike last time, I will be wearing underpants. Um, so you guys don't have to worry about that again. <laughs> yeah, it's just a, a non. Thank you for calling Hy-Vee on 57th and Cliff. This is Kyle. How can I help? Okay, Kyle, who would I talk to? Um, the last time I was down there, I had gotten stopped. I don't know if it was a manager or security or, or, or what exactly, but um, they said, because I wasn't wearing no underpants, and they had said that it was a dress code violation or something, and they it turned into this thing, and then I... I'm sorry about the whole thing. I guess they could see certain things wiggling in the wind or whatever. And I, I, it's not what I intended for. I just wasn't wearing no underpants. Um, so I need to come down there. And I don't want any trouble at all. So I'm going to be wearing my underpants this time. Who – is there someone I can check in with? Um, so unfortunately, like most of my like higher-ups are out of the building right now. Okay. Um, the only person that I can really put you in touch with right now would be like my front-end manager. And I don't like mean to like talk ill about them, but they're ra rather new. Um, okay. So I, I would rather like if, if I could have you come in tomorrow, um, that would honestly probably be better because then we can have you talk to like one of the higher-ups. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to aggravate this situation at all. I don't want to inflame anything at all. Um, I just want it to be known that I've got my underpants on this time. It could, if I come up, can I show you? And then that way, just you'll know, and there won't be any question about it. Because there's not going to be a problem. I have them on this time. Um, yeah, give me one second here. I'm going to put you on a brief hold, and I'm just going to call back to my backroom manager um, real uh, quick. I just want to talk to well, him real quick. I'm, okay, am I going to show him the underwear or you? Um, it's probably going to be him. Okay, then let me, let me talk. Do you want me to talk to him then? Because I don't know if you can handle it. Um, I mean, it, it's... Totally up to you. I, I really don't care. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know you if know. you can do it. Let me. Yeah, let me talk to him. Thank you. All right. Yeah, give me just one second here. Thanks for calling Hyvie on West 10th. This is Destiny. How can I help you? Hey, Destiny. Um, oh, man, it's sad news that I'm calling with tonight. My uncle Peepaw used to shop down there a lot, and he hasn't. Maybe you've noticed. Maybe not. He hasn't been in a couple of weeks. Um. He had like a sex disease and he has passed away from it and they've burned him up for a funeral and everything already. Um, he wasn't too popular with the family, so I'm in charge of all of his ashes and all of his, uh, he had Pokemon cards. I'm in charge of his ashes and his Pokemon cards. And in his will, he said that he wanted to uh, have his ashes scattered down at the hy -Vee, down by the paper towel aisle. So who do I talk to about scattering some of his ashes down there? Um, you'd have to talk to upper management here. Well, it's supposed to be done today. Per the, the last, his will and testaments, it said to. The New Testament. Yeah, you would have to talk to upper management here. What kind of trouble? Let me ask you this. Um, as I'm going to be honest with you. I'm trying to be respectful towards him, but he was kind of an asshole. Um, so I don't really care if the night crew sweeps him up. Oh, Thank you for calling Watertown High V. This is Tasha. How can I help you? Hey Tasha. Um, the corn down, the corn down, corn down. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, corn I can't. Down? Cor sorry. You know, cor corn down. Corn. You know, corn, corn down. Corn. Corn down. Yeah, corn down. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, let me. Well. <sighs> To, uh, um, is the corn down? Corn down. Corn down. The um. The corn down. Yeah, the corn down. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the corn down. Corn the corn down. Yeah, the corn down. Um, I'm not too entirely sure. Um. You don't. Um, the corn the corn corn down, corn down. No. I'm not. Yes. No. I'm not sure. Okay. Thank you. Yep, not a problem. I love you too. All right. Bye. Bye. Hello, and thank you for calling the Sheraton Detroit. Yes, 
Services. How can I help you? Yeah, I just had a question. Um, mm -hmm. are the the staff members like the like the room the room tender or the like the shoe boy or or any of the different girls that work behind the scenes? Um, like are the they? Oh yeah, are they allowed to lie? Is anyone are any of the staff are they allowed to lie? Or do they have to tell the truth all the time? Um, what do you mean? Like, well, yeah, like, of course okay. they shouldn't lie. Well, they shouldn't lie. No one should lie. But, I mean, if it's not against the rules, then they'd be allowed to, wouldn't they? Like, the police, if they're trying to mess with you or something, they're allowed to lie to you, and they won't be in trouble for it because it's legal. So I'm just wondering if you guys down there at the front or, or at the housekeeper's shed or whatever, or wherever you guys may go to smoke cigarettes or whatever... Um, if you're allowed to lie to me. No. Okay. Then how, what do I do if I suspect that someone's telling me something that's not true? Um, you can put in a formal complaint if okay. you'd like. Okay. And I have that here at the front desk. Okay. And I have to come, I have to come down to get it? Um, what's your room number? I don't like to give that. I don't think I have to. That's one of the lies. Then, is that what's well, one of the lies is that I have to give my room number, because I know then, about a flag and an eagle, and this is still America, and I have the Fourth Amendment on me. So you can't look at at any of my stuff, and I don't have to give you my room number if I don't want to. And that's one of the lies that you guys have been perpetuating against me. Then yes, you'd have to come down here and okay. get the. And then I can come down there and fill out a thing that says that you're a liar for saying I had to give my room number. Sure, if you want to. Thank you. Mhm. Are you single? I don't I'll, really think that's Well, I'll put it down if cuz then I'll put it down as a lie. If you if you say no and I think that you might be, I'll put it down as a lie. It's I don't want to date you or nothing. I'm just trying to see if you're telling the truth. That's all. That's not relevant to anything. Well, it, it's to it's to establish your character. Yeah, it is. It is relevant to see if you're a liar or Can not. Can I help you with anything else? I'm just trying to see if you're if you're one of the liars or you're one of the the truth guys who knows about saying the truth. The only thing I'm trying to do is help you so you can come down here and put out a formal complaint. Okay. Is it all right if I'm intoxicated while I'm in the lobby, or should I wait till I sober up a little? It's up to you. Okay, Doesn't thank matter. you. Pant, and pants, mm -hmm. pants and underpants? Yes. For both, or one or the other? or Can both. I do just Can I do just uh, jeans? Just jeans? We'd prefer not, but if you well, will... I, yeah. I won't, yeah, I won't be exposing anything. I'll be all covered up, but it's just there'll only be one layer there around that area. Yeah, Instead that's of, fine. Okay, thank you. I'll be done in a few. Okay. I love you. Bye. Thank you for calling Cubbies. This is Kevin. How may I help you? Kevin, listen, um, I, I just really wanted to reach out and uh, let some somebody know. Okay. Um, I heard my friend, like some of my, you know, I wouldn't say friends or acquaintances, they're saying that they're think like, they might not come down there anymore. I, I don't know why, but they, they're just saying they're going to go in a different direction. They're just not, I don't understand why though. Okay. Um, I, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't, like they don't want to be part of, I, I don't understand. They just don't want to do it anymore. Do what? The whole, Come to the store? All of it. Everything. Yeah, the whole thing. I'm not sure. They said they're going in a different direction, and I'm, I'm not really sure what that means. All right. Well, um, I'm not really sure what you mean, sir. Well, it sounds like they don't want to come down there anymore. Okay. Well, can you give me a reason why? No, no, no. I, I'm telling you what the, I heard. All right. Um, well, I would love to take your name and number down, and then I can have my manager reach out. Um, okay. But... Okay, yeah, here. Uh, yeah, my name is Ryan. All right. All right. Yeah, are you ready for the number? Yep. All right, it's 270-558-1718. All right. And your last name? Uh, it's Gerbel. Is G H E R B E L. All right. All right, that's the house phone. Um, Be Bev might answer the phone, but yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Okay. Um, and you just can't give me a reason? Well, they didn't really say. 
Ah, all right. Um, well, I, I kind of will have my shocked by the whole thing. Okay. Um, well, I will have my manager reach out uh, and uh, see what's up with that. Um, I'm sorry, uh, but uh, can I help you with anything else? Oh, I have people waiting. Oh no, it was weird though. I just don't understand. Are you guys hiring? Like, is it? Uh, I don't. Know, were they not working there, or how do I? See, I don't who even who know. are your friends? You want all their names too? Um. Yeah, I guess. I mean, all right, well, uh, Josh. Josh. Uh, uh, Steve Dave. Josh, Steve Dave. What, jo oh, there's Josh, and then there's Steve Dave. Is it, are you just screwing with me? No, that's, what do you mean? I mean, that's his uh, name? It's, okay, his name is Steve Dave? Yeah, well, his parents are hippies. All right. Okay, got okay, Jot. All right, and then there was well Paul. But I mean, do you really need their names? Like, it's, I guess. Well, I just I'm not gonna, find it very odd I'm not that gonna, you call. And I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, um, but they, your friends. You just say your friends are going in a different direction, and uh, you can't tell me why. I mean, did they work here? Did they were they customers? I don't think any of them work there. I just don't understand, like, why... I'm not giving you their phone numbers. Like, that's... I think that's too much. Okay. All right. Um, well... Assuming that, uh... This number is real and your name is real, um, I will have my manager reach out. I've written a note, and, uh... Okay, okay. That's... Yeah, that's... All right. That's fine. All right. Um, but I really do have to go. There are customers, so I'm sorry. All right, that's fine. Go ahead. All right, thank you. All right, bye. Bye. Top of the shop, this is Mary. How may I help you? Mary, you guys sell the beers down there. Sell what? Beers. Beers and alcohol drink? Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, no. No, you don't sell beers? We sell beer and liquor, yeah. Okay, that's what I was asking about. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, so you're asking okay. for a certain brand or something. Oh, no, I'm not a drinker myself. I'm just wondering, is it okay if I come down there and buy some uh, beer and alcohol, liquor drinks? Can I um, pour Can I pour it out down there, like right on the property? Just It's for in remembrance of a lost homie. Can I pour out a beer down there? Um, no, our liquor license doesn't carry you know, cover open container. Well, I'm not going to be drinking it though. I'm, I'm just going to be pouring it out though, in remembrance. And I don't drink anymore, so I don't want to take it home with me or anything. Yeah. You know. Um. I'll do it. How about this? Listen, as a compromise, I will do it right, right smack dab in front of the front door, so everyone can see. So then that way, it should be fine. Well, I don't want beer out on the ground, right? In right front in front of, of the door. door. Exactly. Door. Perfect. Thank you. I don't want it right in front of my door. So. It's in a little, how about this? A little bit to the left. I can't have any on my side. Just, I'm just, listen, I'm just going to pour one out. That's it. It's not a big deal, okay? If you got to arrest me, there, then you can arrest me. There's grass right off to the side of the building. Is that to the left or the right? The front door is to the right. To the, the left. The other side is well, to the left. If you're facing it or if I'm facing it? Your left or my left, I guess, is the question. It depends upon which way you're facing. That's what I'm saying, though. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Either way, there's plenty of grass here. And I can pour out the beers in the grass. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I love you, too. Thank you for calling the Sheridan Suite. Please hold. Tree Club Plaza in Kansas City. Our pet-friendly boutique hotel welcomes you with spacious suites, thoughtful amenities, and exceptional... Good evening, and thank you for calling the front desk at Sheridan Suites. This is Robert speaking. How can I help you? Uh, kind of a room question. Um, mm -hmm. For staying down there, uh, do you have to, like, uh, I don't know, can we just, like, like, be awake, like, the whole time? Like, just be able to, like, be on our feet the entire time? Like, I, you know, just kind of, like, just be able to walk around and um, like, just on our feet the entire time, like, without laying down, without sitting down. 
Um, so what type of challenge? In the room. Oh no! Like, yeah, we're just trying to stay awake. It's it's for thirty six hours. I mean, yeah. It's like as long as you're in the room, not disturbing anybody, that shouldn't be a problem. Well, you don't. Well, you have not be walking to around. I'll be walking around though. I mean, this is a this is the first time I've had a question like this, so well, I would be yeah, remiss if I didn't yeah. say as long as you're not disturbing anyone, shouldn't be an issue. But I'm a, yeah, but I'll be walking around. If you stand still too long, you'll get tired. Yeah. So I need just you know, I'd be walking around, maybe I take a couple of laps around the building and go back in the room and I walk around the room some more. Um mm -hmm. I just, you know, just being on my feet like the entire time though. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not gonna be a problem. Not that I'm aware of is that, again, as long as you're not being a detriment to any other guests, you know, there shouldn't be an issue with that. Okay. Well, I mean, I mean, like the entire time, like no, like no sitting, no, like just, you know, on my feet. Yeah. I've, I mean, I've had kids come down and you know try to stay up all night. So I mean, wouldn't be a, a problem for an adult to try to do it. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have you know I'm much heavier, and I you know I'm not, I'm not walking light like a kid. I'm walking heavy like an you know like an old. So you do. Older. So so what you're saying is you'd be stomping around. You know, trying to not keep like yourself intentionally. Awake. Yeah, no, I, I don't like, think that will work. <laughs> you, I mean, a, a general pace would be okay. I mean, understanding that you'd be in a hotel with other guests that may have an issue, but as long as you're not disturbing them, you know, it shouldn't be an issue there. Yeah, but I mean, I'd just be walking around a lot. I just want to make sure I wouldn't weird people out. I mean, no. I mean... Uh, we we get it takes all types of guests, you know, to to keep a hotel hotel going. So, I mean, it, it, as long as you like let people know, hey, I'm I'm just doing a challenge, you know, the reason behind your challenge, you know, I'm sure if somebody asks you a question like, hey, why are you walking around the hotel, like, you know, they and you're forthwith, and you know, everything like I mean, that. That I shouldn't gotta, be an issue. Like, I just gotta explain to them what I'm up to. Right. Okay. Well, I mean. Honesty is I, the I best suppose. policy in that situation. But that seems like a lot. Like, there's a lot. Like, it's a long time. Well, I mean, yeah. People do a, a variety of endurance <sighs> challenges throughout their lifetimes, and you know, sometimes it's televised. Sometimes people just want to do a, a personal challenge. It just depends. Yeah, I just kind of want to do this. Yeah, understood. I just. So, again, and I'll reiterate come, this, yeah. as long as they're not a disturbance to any of our other guests, and there should not be an issue with you having a room and staying up for 36 hours, if, you, like, should, is, if you should choose to do so. Am I allowed to be, a, I mean, what's the, a little bit of a disturbance? I mean, I am, I mean, this, this second you hear me walking around, you throw me out, or do I have like a warning? Yeah, you, you, you've warnings? got at least one warning. One morning. Yes. Okay, I get one morning. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Who's that? You. How, how is that determined? Is that like you warning me? Well, yes. Essentially, if you, if you, if there's any member, if there's any member of the front desk that has been called upon by a guest, then we and we have to call you and say, hey, you're causing a ruckus. Then you know that's obviously something that we don't want to have for our hotel. Do you keep track of the warnings? Like, if you warn me, do you write it down for the next person, or I get like one warning per like person? Like, no, we keep shift? track. We keep track. You write it down. There's a catalog. Yeah. I mean, not necessarily a catalog, but if there's a problem, yes, we tend to solve that problem. Well, if there must be like a logbook or something, or I mean, if you keep. When does that expire? Does that expire after like a day? How like how long? Like how many warnings per 24 hours and. I just want to know where I stand. It's on a case by case basis. So I'm, I'm allowed to get more than one warning. I mean, not necessarily. I mean, if you're like, say, for instance, you you're, you're doing this and there's one warning there, and you continue, then we would ask you to kindly stop or, or leave the hotel. Now, if you booked another room and then did the same thing, had that one warning, we would kindly ask you to leave the hotel. If you, I mean, you know, if it's, you know, if it's a habitual thing, you know, of course, over a period of time, then of course we would, you know, be a little bit leery to offer a guest room to you. 
What I mean, it's just like once per 24 hours, though. Is that? A, I mean, not necessarily. Except, just once per. The, let's just let, let's take it. Let's take it at uh, once per stay. Right. So no matter how long you're staying with us, if you cause a disturbance, but if we I have to ask you to like, cease the disturbance, and you do not, we would ask you to leave the hotel. But you're saying if I stayed there again, like if I like checked out and checked, you know, I like got a different room, yeah. went through the whole thing. Yeah, so I could and just cause like, another stay disturbance. In a... Yeah, we would ask you to leave the hotel. Well, then I could. You're saying I could just check out and check back in again. I mean, not necessarily. But, but that's. I thought that's what you said. I just gotta like reset the clock or whatever. You know, you gotta, you know, check out, try again, go back in. Get well, that room. just sounds like you're doing it, you know, just to be doing it at that point. And then we would just say, hey, no, we're not going to offer a room to you. Oh, no, it's just because I'm walking around. Like, I might just well, being on my feet the entire time. Yeah, no, being on your feet on the entire time and then indicating that you would cause a disturbance are two different things, right? So if you if we have to warn you about that and you're, you're continually, you know, making additional noise beyond anything reasonable, you know, then... Obviously, that would be an issue. And we couldn't that continue was, we, that. Yeah. You know, even if you booked another room night and said, okay, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll try again. You know, obviously, we would know because you would be staying with us again. And that would be a whole other situation. So, what You said I could try again, though. I wouldn't I wouldn't advise it, but, you know, that's up to you. What, can I try again? Or, I thought you said I could try again and, like, check, you know, check out and check back in again. No, sir. No, sir. I'm saying if you would do so, if you had done something like that, we would obviously be leery to offer a room. What if I showed you, like, what I was doing? No. I mean, it, it, it wouldn't necessarily be uh, an issue. Uh, again, this like is could, just... No, I mean, it's it's not it's nothing weird or anything. You could just, if you wanted to walk around with me. I'm, I'm saying, yeah, I, I get that. But as long as you're not disturbing other guests, causing an issue for other guests, that would be all right. No, I mean, you, like you yourself, personally, would you like to just walk around with me and you can see what I'm doing? And you you might understand. Yeah, I I understand that. But, yeah, I mean, as long as you're not causing a disturbance to a guest. No, no, you could come with me. You could walk around with me. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that because I'd be working at the front desk, yeah? (laughs) When you get... Oh no! When do you get off shift? Well, I need to go home at that point. <laughs> well, you could walk around for a little bit. I mean, a little bit maybe, but I would still need okay, to get yeah, home. Okay, yeah, just. Oh yeah, or maybe when do you start your next shift? Am I am I still going to be like if I get what, what you know? Are you every day or back in the morning? I'm oh, sorry. Are you back in the morning? Like, is it like every day? Or what what day? Like, when do you work? Maybe you oh, can walk no, around no, before you work. Yeah. So, so it varies from it varies from week to week. What do you like, do you work tomorrow? Tomorrow morning? Is there anything else I can help you with, sir? I mean, if you just wanted to walk around with me, and I could show you what, like, what you know, we could well, walk around together. Else and I can could... assist you with, sir. I'm going to go ahead and end the call, okay? Okay. I mean, I just wanted to make sure. Thank you for calling the sheriff and sweets. All right. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you for calling the Sheridan Overland Park. How can I help you? I just had a question for you. Um, huh? are your empl- I'm with one of your employees. They don't want me to say their name for obvious reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, they're telling me, because they're not on the clock. They're not working at all. They're completely off the clock. I'm just trying to smoke some weed with them, but they keep telling me, oh, I can't, I can't, my job, my job. Are they allowed to smoke pot if they're not on the clock? Um, I honestly don't know that. Um... I'm a little newer here, so I can ask somebody for do you. you. Okay, do you smoke pot when you're not on the clock? I don't do it periodly, but... Periodly, I don't okay. do it at all, but I can ask someone. Okay. okay. Yeah, I learned on, something new. Thank you. You're fine. Hold on. Yeah, we... Uh, nope, that is not allowed. But they're not on the clock, though. She's clocked out entirely. I mean, not on premises. They no, 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 no. It. See, she's talking about, oh, drug test, this, that, and it's in the system. I'm just trying to get her high, you know, to see if she'll make out or something. I'm sorry, but that, no. 
I'm okay. sorry. The answer is no. <laughs> what do you recommend then? Because I don't know. I don't know if she's 20 or 21. I don't know. Do you want me to give her alcohol even if she's only 20? No, sir. I don't know what you want me to do then. I'm so I'm not, I'm not, we're not going any harder than that. I'm not bringing out any of the cocaine or pills. That's not going to happen. Who is this? My name is Brad. This is Amy. Yes, that's Hold on. correct. Do you know Amy? Do you know Amy? Yeah, she knows you. Okay. So then, all right, listen, I'm just going to pretend like you said it was cool. So it's good no, for her to smoke. No, that is not correct. As long that as it's just one correct. blunt. Okay, just one that blunt. That is not just correct. Blunt. You're just going to smoke one blunt, and then you're good at work. That is not okay. correct. I'm hanging right. up. Thank you, Amy. It's an airport hotel. Hi. Um, I had a question. About, like, the employees down there, are they allowed to, like, um, you know, like, like drink and smoke and stuff off the clock? Um, Off the clock? Off the like, clock. Like, um, yeah, yeah. Smoking a blunt or something. Oh, I have no idea. They haven't told me. Um, I do would you assume no. No, I don't. There's some. Do you, um, anybody else? I would just assume no. Um, I can ask. If you give me a couple minutes, um, I have another person over here with me. He might know. He's a lot. Um, he's been here a lot longer than I have. So um, as soon as he gets back up here, he's just running something to a guest. Then um, I'll ask him. Okay. Okay. Are you? Are, I'm just gonna you put you on hold. Oh. Until he comes back uh, up. That sounds like a long time. What if he doesn't come back up? Well, he's he's definitely gonna come back up. Where did he go? He just went to run something to a guest. Oh, I mean. Oh, he is here right now. Actually, real. give me one second. Yeah, he's oh, right here. Perfect. Yes, this is Sean. How can I help you? Oh, I thought she was gonna. Okay. Um, I was asking her, and she said that you would probably know. Uh, okay. The employees, the employees at the establishment there. Do you guys are you allowed to like drink and smoke and stuff like off off the clock? Off the clock, like if we work at the building. No, like you're, you know, you're not on the clock. You're, you're punched out. Are you allowed to like drink and like, you know, smoke a bunch or something? Not that I'm aware of, sir. I, I'm, I'm not sure if anything would that be allowed uh, for employees. That's the only thing I know of for myself personally is just every couple of hours stepping outside for a quick cigarette break. But uh, no one's asked me about the, those kinds of policies or procedures just quite yet. Oh no, I mean like when you're off the clock, like you're done working for the day. You're completely done. You mean on my own time, like at home? Oh, well, anywhere. Because I, I wouldn't do that here at the building. But just, just okay. because it's so I mean, close well, to the airport, I personally wouldn't. Okay, I mean, wherever. Just not, then not, not there, but then anywhere else. Are you like? I'm, I'm assuming you're allowed to drink, right? As long as you're 21, you can drink, right? Like that's that's yes. fine. Yes. Yes. Okay. What that's, about that's, the like, accurate, what about sir. yeah? What about the weed? I don't know about the current recreational laws. I do know that it's been recreationalized. I just don't know about where that is uh, uh, free to smoke recreationally. I do know that they're supposed to have established spots that will be designated for that to be um, no, free to use, but I mean, it you, hasn't been implemented just yet. Are you allowed to do other things? I was, like, I, I'm assuming so. I, they haven't like, had any kind of testing or anything like that to disprove me otherwise. Yeah, they can, yeah, you can, it's, I mean, a little bit of coke or something, you know, a little bit. I'm not sure what you're trying to ask me, and if you're just trying to get me to admit to something, this seems very peculiar, sir. I, this is very strange questions to ask. Oh, no, I, she told me to ask you because she didn't know. I was just literally asking anybody. Um, well, I, you know, because I want, I mean, I know someone else. It ain't you guys. I know someone else, and they're... Saying like, oh, I can't, I can't do this, I can't do that because you know they're gonna drug test me and this and that and this and that, and well, you know, I, I kind of want to just call them out on it. Like this is, it doesn't sound real. I don't know, sir. I really was, don't know. The only thing I know is that I don't would never partake about anything that near of the property, off the clock on the property, or anything of that nature. Well, I mean, like you don't have to be there. I mean. I don't know. I got some weed. You want to go burn? 
Sir, I really don't know what, what you want me to say here. I don't smoke. I don't drink, personally. I, these are not things I partake of. You don't so drink? So I can't really answer this question appropriately. No, I do not drink. Did like did you used to and just you don't now or you just this is, you just don't like it it's not your no I haven't I haven't drank in the last eight years sir I'm 29 I haven't drank since I was 21 I uh, just had had enough of it is this going somewhere well I mean if you don't drink that's cool I mean that's fine I'm not trying to pressure you into drinking or anything nothing like like no uh, my question is what is this leading up to do you have a reservation is there something I need to be aware of I do have a job that I'm needing to do well. Yeah, but I I guess he's trying to get all mad at me like that. I don't know. I mean, I'm just trying to be nice. Well, sir, I don't understand. Like, these are just these are questions I don't really have the ability to answer for you. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. I can't just tell you yes or no. I can just tell you my experience. I don't do that here, nor would I do that anywhere around here. That's well, your proclivity know. if that's something you choose to do. I didn't know you didn't drink or anything. Like... I, sorry, I didn't mean to make you upset. Like I didn't know well, you didn't drink. Just does she drink? Well, it's not that, sir. It's the the question being is I don't, I don't, I don't know, sir. We're both new associates here. This isn't a question that we've ever had working in a hospitality situation like that before. Does she drink? Or I, I know you don't drink, and that's fine. That's cool. I don't care. I have friends that don't drink. That's fine. I don't. I'm not. I'm not trying to give you any shit for that. Like that's that's cool. Um, I was just wondering, is there some, does she drink? I don't know. Oh. Well, it sounds like she might, like, she might hit a blunt. I don't know, but she sounded nervous. You ever smoked before? Sir, I really don't know what you want me to do. This is, this is, are we leading somewhere for this? Do I need to provide you any real assistance, or are you just going to ask me these kinds of questions? Well, I mean, I, I was trying to find some common ground here. Maybe you'd understand better. The only common ground that needs to be understood is if you actually need a hotel room that I can provide the assistance of, of setting up a reservation for or anything of that nature. I don't need to give you personal information of that nature of mine else or other associates without their comfortability. That's just a very odd question, I, sir. Why are, you so, like, why are you so angry? I mean, you can ask me questions, too. I'm not being angry. This is just a very peculiar question to call and ask people that are working behind a desk. Well, I don't judge. I mean, like, you work behind a desk or uh, under a car hood or um, in a burger place or, I mean, I really, I mean, everyone, I mean, it's a job. It's cool. I mean, I, I work a job. Job, yeah, you need to have a job. That's good, you know. I'm not, I don't really care where you, I mean. Uh, Sir, I'm not sure exactly what so you want me to tell you. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't know anybody here that actually does except for the occasional cigarette break while they're on the clock. I don't. Really, we don't we don't really communicate Do you smoke beyond cigarettes? work related purposes. Do you smoke Every cigarettes? couple of hours, yes, I'll go out and have a cigarette. Yeah. Okay. See. So okay. You smoke some cigarettes. I mean, Sir, is this really going somewhere? I have a job to go do. Well, yeah, but I mean, like now at least I see. Thank you for calling Guest Services. This is Ellie. How can I assist you? Hey, Ely. I just had a real easy question for you guys. I was wondering, I'm here with one of your employees off the clock. We're just hanging out and stuff. Um, is she allowed to smoke marijuana or is that going to endanger her job? Um, it's, we, we are a non, non-smoking uh, hotel. Oh so no 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 she's no. she's up she's up in my bedroom now right now I went down here to call you um because she's all oh, you didn't really hit job. Yeah, you yeah. and I'm like bitch please just shut up and hit the blunt you know and I told her just you know get, stay up here take the pants off whatever you want to do I'll go call your job and I'll find out for her is what what I said um I, we, I mean the, they do do drug tests here um to get hired. To get hired, though, but once she's in, she mm -hmm. can smoke as much weed as she wants, right? Um, I, I, I can't tell you that. I'd, I'd have to, I'd have to send you back to HR. How about this? I'm gonna go tell her, cause she's like I said, she's up in the bedroom getting all, I don't know, whatever, whatever you girls do. Um, if I just tell her that you said it was okay, how about that? No, so then that way, no, that, what? That's, 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 I mean, that's not okay. That works that's, for me, though. That works that, for me. That, well, I mean, that's not does not work for me. Listen, I mean, I'm just listen. I'm just trying to set the mood, okay? 
That's all. Well, you know, I mean, whatever you guys do between you is between that's, you. That's that's what I'm going to tell her. I'll tell her that you said that. I'll say I'm, what Becky. What was it? Judy, Sue, Susan. What was it? What's your name? You don't even know your girlfriend's name. No, your name. What's your name? I'm not no, giving you I, her. You know what? You know what? I'm 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 sorry, but I I can't answer those questions, and I hope you have a good. I'll evening. just tell her that you Bye. said whatever we do is our business. Rose, this is Annie speaking. Can I help you? Yeah, hi. I um, I just wanted to check and make sure because last time I came in there, there was a little bit of trouble uh, because I, I didn't have my underpants on. Um, and I just wanted to to know, wanted to let you guys know I'm complying with the uh, dress code. This time I'm going to come in, you know, and it'll be fine. But th- who do I show, like, to, to make sure it's okay to come back in? Okay, this is very awkward for me. I don't know anything about I'm this I'm sorry. Situation. It is for me, too. It was it, w- it was very bad, and I guess it's good that you don't know. But um, I just wanted to make sure that there was somebody, like, I don't know if you have, like, a security guard or, like, you know, a fellow employee who's going to, like, check and make sure that I'm compliant or whatever. When did this but, incident you know, happen? It, it was a while back, but they said, like, you know, it was like, hey, don't come back here unless, and, and you know, there, there was nothing certain uh, like set in stone about terms of of when I could return or whatever, but I'm just under the assumption that if well, if I I'm wear tell you that the underpants, if you come into my store and your pants are pulled up and you have them fastened and you show. Oh yeah, they were always. Body, it was always covered. It was just there was no underpants and so it was it was a trouble. Well, if you had pants on, why is it anybody's business that you have no underpants on? It, I mean, that was my case to begin with, and and I was you know. Very shocked and offended at everybody's reaction, but you you would think they were going to stone me. Well, you do what you want with your no underpants. Just be respectful when you come no, in. No, I'm gonna I'm sure gonna wear them. That's that's what I'm then. trying to say. I just wanted to make sure, and if if anybody needs to see, I can show them. No, I, you don't have to show me your underpants. Just when you come in here, be respectful. Okay, they're All the right. um they're the New Balance contour briefs. What does that mean? I got them at Sears. The what? The underpants, ma'am. Oh, okay. Just, well, nice. I don't know if you guys need to know or document. I'm just making sure. Nope. Um, we're just going to let it go and, and, like I said, be respectful and that'll be it. Okay. Thank and you. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you too. All right. Bye. Bye. Good evening. Thank you for calling the Boulders Resort and Spa, Scottsdale. How may I direct your call? Oh, I thought you might be a robot for a half a second, but you're oh, right there. The, you're at the front desk here. I am not at the front desk, but okay, I am shit. the resort operator. I can connect you. Well, I think there might be a squirrel in the chimney. Uh, 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 okay, I can send an engineer over. What are we gonna? How do you get him out of there? I don't want you guys to hurt him, though. How do you get him out? We won't hurt them. We usually re- relocate them. So you guys get squirrels in the chimneys a lot. Not necessarily, no. Okay, then how often? Sir, I I don't know. Put me in touch with someone who knows. I need more information here. My pleasure to connect you to a security who handles our animals. Thank you. Good afternoon, Boulder Security. This is Tony. I think there's there's a squirrel in the chimney. Who is this? I'm in one of the rooms. I think there might be a... Because it happened at home. One time it happened at home, and it that's I think he might be like going up or down in there or something. Okay, what room are you in, sir? <laughs> it shouldn't matter. The chimney would run um, parallel, like at the house. Because if you can, it didn't matter which room you're in, you could hear that damn squirrel. So, can we, how do you get him out though? Because I don't want you guys to injure him. Well, I, I need to know what room you're in. No, I don't want you to come in here. You can't even access it through here. I don't think can you? Where's there's no fireplace. Sir, where do you think you're calling right now? I was I caught tried to call the front desk, but then she said no, she's the resort manager, and I said please connect me, and then she said she'd give me to uh, the animal man. And so, are you staying in a, a villa? Casita, yeah, yeah, ha- yeah, yeah. Hacienda. Tom Darling. What's that? Tom Darling. What about Tom Darling? That don't shh, don't say it again loud. It was a quiet time to say it. That's All right, I'm I got. I, that's I gotta where go, I'm at. Sir. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. I gotta go. That's where I'm at.
Thank you for calling Healthy Phoenix Chandler. This is Jonelle. How may I help you? All right, Jonelle. Um, is there anybody, like, I don't know if there's rules for, like, the people that work there or not. Like, are you guys allowed to, like, drink and smoke and stuff? Or is that, like, I mean, I mean definitely off the clock. Off the clock. We're talking off the clock. Uh, off the clock, I do believe we are allowed to. What about, like, smoking? Uh, cigarettes? Well, cigarettes and... Oh, uh, I'm not too sure about that. I believe off the clock you are allowed to, just not on. I mean, like, you like, smoke a bunt or something, you know? Um, uh, let me hand you off to my manager, and he can probably answer this better for do you. you. Do you smoke? Do you smoke? Uh, no, I do not. Oh, do you drink? No, I do not. Oh, you don't drink? Okay, um, do you smoke cigarettes? No, I do not. Okay, but definitely not pot. What do you do? You, what do you do? Uh, nothing. Uh, let me pass okay. it on to my manager, and he can answer this better than you. Do you not just don't drink me. often? Do do you just not drink often, or just not at all? Hi there, this is Rob. How can I help you? Hi. Do you drink? Do I drink alcohol? Yes. I do. Okay. Um, smoke. I do not. Um, I mean, you're thinking cigarettes, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, how about, like, so, uh, anything else? No, sir. I mean, like, off the clock, of course. Uh, no, sir. But you drink, though? I do. Okay, have you ever experimented with, like, marijuana before? Um, I have not. Never? Nope, not not even once. Not even once? Like, not, not one even time... Once. The, I got the high school or something. They didn't like sneak a quick puff or oh goodness no maybe a, like a line of blow or something anything oh never never not once I mean you can tell me like I'm well I know I feel like I can trust you already I mean I'm cool like well I have I mean I have a little bit of weed nice I mean you wanna I'm okay but thank you so much I really appreciate you asking. Uh, was someone else down there want to? Was I mean, they don't have to, I mean, anybody really. No, I think everyone's bored. all good, my guy. I appreciate it, though. You want to go get a drink? Um, I'm okay. I'm, I'm not trying to drink right now. So after, when do you get off? When do you get off work? Oh, I'm never off, man. I work 24-7. No, come on, no. Oh, I do. I work a lot. Uh-huh. Well, the, you don't do any cocaine, though, so that's... I that's do a, not. I, I really, I really, I don't. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back. Do they smoke? They do not. <laughs> all right, my guy, I'm gonna Ask let you go. All right. Quick. You have a Ask good night. Bye bye. Quick. <laughs> Thank you for calling Double Tree by Hilton Phoenix May. So this is Princess speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Princess. I had a question about like um, employees, like the policies, I guess, for you guys down there, like for your job and stuff. I was wondering, once you're off the clock, are you, you guys are allowed to drink alcohol, correct? Um, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I'm wondering about if you guys are allowed to drink alcohol um, or mar marijuana usage. off, Like, maybe off the property, maybe up in my room. We'll see, you know, what we want to do. Um, and then I was wondering about mushrooms and cocaine at the same time. Just those three, though. Drinking, smoking, and, and then mushrooms and cocaine. But so both at the same, like both at the same time, though, like not like one and then the other, but like both like at the exact same time. Okay, so I'm trying to understand exactly what your question is. Are you asking can employees use those things? Yeah, yeah, outside drinking, of the facility. Drinking marijuana, smoking, and then mushrooms and cocaine at the same time. Yes. Um, whatever an employee does in his personal life is their personal business. So it is okay for them to do the mushrooms and the cocaine. Okay, I thought so, but um, I got a, this girl here, and we're about to, and she didn't. She's got, oh, my job. And I'm like, bitch, please, shut up. I'll call them, you know? No, that's not okay. Well, no, we're going to, we, it's cool. You said it's fine. It's on, it's on our time, but I, I didn't say her name, so you can't hold it against her in a court of law. Thank you. Whatever a person does in their personal life is their business. That's yeah, not you know, no, business. she wants to. Just she's with the mouth. Yep, 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 yep. You know, and I'm just like, shit. Seriously, close your fucking mouth. I'll call them. If she comes to work, um, 
intoxicated, then that's something on her well, that she's going to have to deal with. I'm not a doctor or nothing, but I don't think you can get that many drugs and alcohol out of your system in less than 24 hours. But, you know, I don't work there, so. Mm-hmm. You are responsible for her? Is that why you're calling? No, because like I said, she was yapping, yeah, yeah, job, 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 job. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ, like that. And I was like, I'll call him. Just shut up, you know? Um, I can't relate, um, but that's none of my business as well. Right. <laughs> We're not dating or anything. We were just going to do these drugs and like hump and stuff. That's all. Again, that's none of my business. Um, can I speak to her? No, she's busy in the bathroom getting all cleaned up. Okay. Um, well, you guys have a nice day. Thank you. And I'll tell her you said it was fine because it's in our own times. Okay. Thank you. I love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for calling Double Tree by Hilton. This is Francis speaking. Hi. Um, a kind of a question about like like, like the working workings of going on is there like a way I can get you know like a, a groom transfer I'm sorry this is the assistant manager what is going on well like I had another guest there asking me if we could do a room transfer and I just was wondering what the workings and going ons of that was like as far as working working that out how do I like? Are we allowed to swap rooms like that? Who are you trying to call? This is the front, right? The front desk for what hotel? The Hilton. Like I. Okay. That's why. I, I was, okay. That's why. I don't. I, uh, you're confusing me. You're confusing. I don't know, like, the, another guest was like, let's do a room swap. That's what, what they call what it. Room, what room are you in? Do you, like, do you allow that? Like, if it's not even allowed, then I'm not even going to, like, enter, I'm not going to bother. Like, to be honest. It seems, but it, I don't know. I said I would call. I said I would call and ask. What I'd room do are you in? I everything I could do. Are you going to let me swap? You're not answering my question, so I'm not answering You're not answering, answering your my question. question. You didn't, I asked first. Why would I... You're going to, like, do something to me if, like... I don't know. It's weird. If it's not allowed, just tell me it's not allowed. No. I whatever. can call the police for harassment. I'm going to call if the sheriff. If you're not a guest. If you're not a guest. Shut up. Shut up. I'm going to call the sheriff. Stop calling you don't, I have do you your Stop number. calling there. Your phone number is 270-558-1710. Okay. So they can look it up and find out who you are. You're going to find, like, it's my, you know, it's the cell phone. Okay. Well, whoever's name it's under, they'll find out. But it's you're harassing Beverly. the front desk. I said, no, I'm telling you it's Beverly's number. Who's Beverly? It's her phone. It's her number. Like, you won't get me. Like, it's somebody else's phone. Are you impaired? No, I stole the phone. Like, it's not my phone. I've stolen this phone. Okay, well, I don't have a guest by the name of Beverly, so I can't I didn't help say, you, you I, What? That doesn't make any sense. Why would why would Beverly be there? I stole it from here. Why would she be at the place I'm okay, at? Okay, like, I'm going to hang up if you don't tell phone. me your name or your room number, because I have guests that need help and if you call again well, the police will get your phone number I told you I'm going to call the sheriff do it no okay Fine. okay I'm going to call him I'll call him right now perfect I'm going to call him right I now I can't wait thank you you Goodbye. know what I'm going to tell them tell them no you, you know what I'm going to tell them <laughs> I'm, that's your business no I'm going to tell them that you call the police and I'm calling the sheriff <laughs> I cannot handle this. You're, you haven't hung up yet. I don't know why you're being so silly about this. You're like goofy or something. You're all giggly. Are you on the weed? We're just, we are just tracking the phone call and recording. So, for evidence. 
What kind of tracker do you got? We're with the Mesa kind of, Police Department. You got, a, you got a phone tracer? Yeah. I mean, we can call it. Is there you anything else I can help Bev? you with? You want us? Uh, we could call Beth. You know, you know what? You, you go ahead. You can call her. You can call her later. That, That's fine. That person doesn't exist. Oh, she does. She she's okay. very much does. Okay, thank you. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, I mean, I could give you some more phone numbers. You want if you want to, like some phone numbers and stuff. You're wasting my time. You're wasting mine. Thank you for calling the Arizona Billboard. This hey. is Noel. How may I assist you? Question about your policy is there. Um, okay. What is, like, the maximum oh, amount of time that I'm allowed to be in the elevators? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not really understanding the question. Like, to ride them up and downs, up and down and up and down like that. Is there a time limit to being in there where it becomes an, an issue where i got to get out then? Uh, or, no, there's no limit. So I can just ride in there and go up and down? Uh, I mean, I guess. It's not a problem, though. I don't, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. I don't. I don't. I don't. Right. Um. We don't have a policy set I for that. I want to be left. I want to be left alone. I understand. Yeah. There's no policy for that. Okay. So if I have anything illegal, it should be all right if I have it in my pockets, because no one will be going through them, right? Unfortunately, since it's brought to our attention, we would have to report it. Well, no, it. no. Just while I'm in the, in the elevator, you said there's nothing wrong with it, so no one should be going through my pockets in the elevator, so I shouldn't have to leave anything in the room then. I'm but if there go. is if it's illegal... Safe to me to ride there is, yeah, in my pockets right now. Okay, and what building are you in? I don't like your attitude here. What's going on? Your tone shifted. Well, yes, because it seems there might be a safety concern. It's no big deal. It's just cocaine. Calm down. I Jesus. Okay, I understand. Um, yeah, chill. See, now that you know it's just cocaine, you can chill out. Okay, is there anything else that I could be of assistance with? No, just leave me alone when I'm in the elevator, please. I'll have cocaine on me, and I don't want any trouble. Thank you. Okay, I will alert security. Thank you. No, no, don't. Don't alert security. That's the opposite. Please, you're not helping at all. I do it's have to a, do my due diligence. This is the front though, desk. You're supposed safety. to help me. No, I'm asking for something, and you're doing the opposite. That's the opposite. I, said, I understand. Don't, don't cause a fuss about it. It's just cocaine. It's barely even two grams. It's not that much. Calm down. Okay, sir. Is there anything else that I could be of assistance just with? Just leave me alone. Thank you. I'm just going to ride the elevator. I can do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Good night. Thank you for calling the Embassy Suites by Hilton Phoenix Downtown North. Please wait while we transfer you to the operator. Downtown North, this is Gary. How may I assist you? Gary, uh... How long can I stay in the elevator for before, like, you guys start yelling at me? What do you mean? Like, riding it, like, up and down and stuff? Like, like how long, like, how many times could I ride the elevator? Like, do you yell at people for riding the elevator, or is it okay? I'm not understanding. You're at the hotel, and you're riding the elevator, and you're asking if that's okay? Yeah. How long can I ride the elevator? Are you a hotel guest? Does that make a difference? It certainly does, yeah. Then yes, I'm a hotel guest. Then you can ride it as long as you'd like. I can ride it as long as I like, as long as I'm a hotel guest? Mm-hmm. Is anybody going to check me? Of course. Security like, will. Check me how? Check me how? Like, check my pockets or just check, like, what do you... Sir, so, what is it that I can help you with? Well, I mean, I don't want you to go through my pockets. Okay, well, then I wouldn't ride the elevator. What? No, like, why not? Like, I don't see you checking everybody else's pockets. Why are you going to check my pockets? Because you're asking me how long you can ride the elevator. It's kind of an irrelevant question. Guests well, ride the ride elevator for... to go to their room, and they use it to leave their room to come to the lobby. Nobody just well, yeah. rides the elevator constantly. Well, you so, could. yes, that would be suspicious activity, and we would have security what? check you. What? What's suspicious? About? I'm not doing anything. I'm just standing there. I won't even sit down. I'll just stand in it. 
Like it used to be a profession. Like people used to like to stand in elevators all the time and hit the buttons. Is there Pull something the I can help you with, sir? Why don't you let me wire the elevator? Thank you for calling the Hilton Phoenix Resort at the peak where the Please hold. Hilton Phoenix Resort at the peak. This is Faye. How can I help you? Can you speak up? Shit. Uh, excuse me? I said, can you speak up? Hi, how can I help that's, you, see, sir? See, that's much better. I'm glad I said something. I don't need the attitude, though. You I just had a... <laughs> well, I said, speak up, please, because you're quiet. Okay. How can I help you, sir? Your phone is garbage, too. Um, I'm just wondering about the elevators. How long... Is there a time limit for riding them, like, up and down and all around and stuff? No, there is no time limit on our elevators. Okay, so I can be in there as long as I wanted to. I just I don't mean, want... What I don't... What I'm trying to avoid here, I don't want to get into type, any type of a security issue or get anyone upset, because I don't want anyone searching through my pockets right now. Because I'm holding. Excuse? I've got I've got drugs. And so that's why... Because I, well, I wanted to like do them and get like all messed up and then just ride the elevator for a while. But I didn't want to have to leave them in my room. So I didn't want no one to go through my pockets. That's why I was making sure that I can ride the elevator without getting in trouble. You see. I, okay. Do you realize you just asked me, is it okay for you to just be in the elevator for a long amount of time because you're about to take whatever drug for just it's, yeah, cause, the yeah no it's right? like if it going up and down feels pretty cool yeah so that's why i was going to do the elevator for a, at least a couple of hours yeah and i just no I just, no, no no i well, you, are, no. you already said yes though so if no one's going to search me then it should be fine no one's going to search you but if you can't just hang out on the elevator okay how long on, what's the limit hours on end. what's the limit half hour uh, are you already in an elevator sir i uh, maybe i don't like the tone so i don't i don't want to get i don't want to answer that question let's put it that way okay if you are hanging out in our elevators whichever elevator it is we will have our security come over there. No, 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 no. You already said no on that because it's good. It's okay, and it's fine. So I don't have no, to worry it's about not. it. No, it is not. So, okay, what is security going to do? Are they going to search me? They're not going to search you, but you just told me you want to hang out on the elevator. I'm asking. Or... Listen, I'm trying to follow the rules. I'm trying to find sure. out what the limit is. And then whatever, when the t I'll set a timer on my phone. Okay. And when okay. the timer goes off, I'll get out and I'll walk around whatever floor it is for 10 minutes and I'll get back on the elevator. Our elevator is not a joyride. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do, me, though. I'm trying to take it for, like, a ride. It is not a ride. Well, I, I don't want to... call on the phone. Listen, I don't want to drive. Do... I don't want to drive. I don't. You're going to force me to drive around then. And I don't want to drive around while I'm all fucked up. I'm not forcing you to drive. Oh if you won't God. let me ride the elevator, you're, I got it. It's because it feels so cool to move around in, like, in a box. It feels cool. Did you... Oh, my God. I'm going to place you on a hold. No, please don't. Uh, <laughs> Can I get your last name, please, sir? For what purpose? How would that enhance your ability to serve me? So I can see what room number you are. What? I don't need. I'm going to be in the elevator, not in my room. You're not going to be in the I elevator. I am for whatever the maximum time is. I don't want to break any rules. What? Tell me what it is. Half hour, 45. What? How many minutes? How many minutes? It is not a ride. There is no time. There required. has to be a time limit. There is no time limit because it is a elevator. But it goes up and... Uh, <laughs> I don't think you understand. I think I do understand. You it want... goes like up and down and all to all the floors and it'll stop on them and stuff. Sir, you want to just... To ride casual... the elevator for a few yes. hours or however long I can do it for. No, 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 no. Would you like to know why? Because other guests... Also use the elevator, sir. And then they can push the buttons. Like, I'll only hit the buttons if no one else is on you it. Are... I don't see... How does that hurt anything? I'll go to every floor when no one's on it. How about that? Just to check. Because it feels cool when it stops, too. Like, a douche, 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 like that. Oh, my God. Doo, 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 right in the brain. It's like, wow, whoa, moving, stopping, moving, going, you know? Up, down, up, down. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I'm going to get, can I get started on this or what else do we have to finish no, here? No, we cannot. We have our security. I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm getting all pumped up. I'm thinking about it. I'm getting pumped up. I want to do it. Our security team is not going to allow you. We are going to go to our elevators. We are going to be on the lookout for anyone who's just casually riding our elevators for hours on As evening. long as you don't search my pockets, that's fine. No I'm one is you. going to search okay, your pockets. Okay, because I'm going to have – I'm going to be holding. I'm going to have drugs on me, and I don't want care. them to be found. I do not care. I do not care what you have on your person, Drugs, sir. drugs, drugs, what drugs. What I am trying – I do not care what you're about to take. I don't care what kind of trip you're about to go on. Yeah, what I'm elevator, is, elevator. You are, going, you are not going to have a joyride for elevator however trip. long on our elevator. Elevator trip, that is yeah, not going yeah, yeah, to happen. yeah. Yes, exactly what you if said, you except attempt, yes. If attempt to do that, we are more than likely going to evict you. Sir, that is not okay. The eviction is not okay. I, I say no thank you, please, to that. I do not care what you say. Well, I have a legal right to say no thank you, please. And I have a legal right to say you cannot ride our elevator like it is a roller coaster. I'll call the sheriff on you if you get all lippy with You're me like this. Call. Sir, you started out lippy. And second of all, you just told me that you are about to take whatever drugs. I'll put it in my... Well, listen, I'm not stupid. I'll put the drugs in my room when I call the sheriff. Duh. Oh, my. What do you think I'm stupid? I'd talk to the sheriff with weird drugs in my pocket. He will search me too. And that's why I won't have my drugs. So listen. <laughs> What's going on? What? What happened? We are sending our security team over. Bullshit. Well, not bullshit. Again, as I said. Our elevator okay. is not a roller coaster. Just listen. Just be straight with me, because you keep telling me that you're not going to go through my pockets, but I feel like you're trying to set me up. Should I leave the drugs in the room? I think you should take your drugs in your room, and no one will bother you. No but one how, will do the situation. How do I this move around, why. then? How do I move around? What? Do you want I me to just walk? Care. Can I just walk around? Can I walk around all the halls? As long as you're not bothering other guests, whatever. What I am trying to say is that you cannot be in the elevator can for I ride, hours on end. Can, uh, can I ride it to no. each floor and do a lap and then come back and go to the next one and over and over and over and over? He does not want to tell me. Who's that? Is that your boss? No, I'll call the okay. – I told her I'll call the sheriff. I said it first, so you guys got to wait. We no, I called I called dibs. I called dibs. I said I was going to call the sheriff first, so you guys have to wait. So we that's the law. No, that's the law. Are. No, that's the law. you no, got to wait. Not. I said I was going to call the sheriff on no, you. For... There's no dibs on you're... calling the sheriff. No, you're first. violating I... my rights. Stop it. I'm violating your rights? Yeah, I had dibs. He's already taken whatever he's... I don't know. Put them on the phone. I have the right to uh, fair representation. Put them on the phone with me. I want to talk to the police uh, about no. myself. I have the right to a fair representation of a lawyer towards myself. I, I don't think you understand how that works. I don't think you understand how this works, okay? <laughs> I'm going to ride that elevator as long as I'm allowed to. And you can't stop me because I'm allowed to. So thank you. Already, again, I am telling you that our security team is going to stop. Oh, I know. You. What you're doing is you're trying to keep me on the phone so that you have more time to steal my dibs and talk to the police. But when I call again, the sheriff, the listen, shh, when I call the sheriff and tell him that I had dibs, when I tell them that I, that I had dibs, they're not gonna be they're going to be too happy with you. They are going you to might get arrested for no breaking dibs. There is no dibs. There is no legal dibs. Dibs does not work. There's no legality to it. No, if I say I'm going to call the sheriff, then I get to. That's how it works. <laughs> no. you can't, well, you can't I'm stop not, me. No, I'm not stopping you. you I'm are. saying there's no dibs on it. I called dibs you and then you went behind my back. I went behind your back because you are refusing to listen. You're to not listening. private business. I'm a private business. You're not listening to me. <laughs> You're a private business? Yeah. That's what you are. You are. Oh, I have a lot. I have a lot of private business. And you could have kept that private. Instead, you called. Instead, to ask I'm going to take it on the elevator. Yeah, exactly. Because I'm a good citizen like that. And I said like no. No, you can't say no. That's against the law, and that's why I was going to call the yes, sheriff. Yes, it is. 
because and now you're trying to break my laws you're trying to break my laws by calling police for no reason and that breaks the law in my opinion so you should go to jail okay does it break the law or is it in your opinion yes yes to both Correct. So you the should go to, if I'm opinion? in charge, well, no, if I was in charge, you'd be in jail already. I thought it I think. was both. Well, it I is. I would be in jail already. You're trying to confuse but me not, and it's not going to work, Mrs. I'm trying to just understand what you're trying to say. Man. Are the police I, coming down there? They are going to be heading over shortly. Well, let me talk to them. Uh, no, I don't have them on the line, and no, I cannot transfer you over to them. Do you know what another thing is? Is that this stuff makes me not sleepy, so I can wait. I can wait and wait and wait, and I'll ride the elevator when you least expect it. Again, we're probably going to get reports that some odd guy has been standing in the elevator for uh-uh, an hour. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'll look towards the corner if someone gets on. They won't be able to tell. Again, since we already have a report of this, we are probably I'm, going I, to be aware. Should I, should I three-way in the sheriff? Is that what you want me to do? I don't. Do you know how to do it? Do you know how to do it on Android 12? I don't know how to do a three-way call on Android 12, so I can't do it. I don't care. I'm not gonna assist you. Will you call the sheriff for me? Can you conference it on your end for me? Will you call the sheriff? Wow, you're asking me to call the sheriff for assistance. Aren't you the front desk? Aren't you supposed to help me as the guest? And I need your assistance to contact the sheriff so I can try and get you arrested. I'm reporting you. I'm reporting you to the sheriff. I hope. For free. Well, it's possible <laughs> and easy to do. Alrighty. So again, no, that is oh. not happening. You why are you hold? Why the hold? Why are you doing that? Why do you put me on hold? Are you are you scared uh, or something? Are you I'm... taking a cigarette break? No, it's called. I have other calls coming in. Other bull. calls. Bull. That's bull. That's bull, Nunes. That's not real. Because I'm an operator. You made it up. Stop lying to me. You're not allowed to lie to me. I checked your policy. I'm not allowed to lie about what job position I'm actually working because it is against policy. I, I do not understand, and I don't even know how to answer that. Okay. Uh, this is just a level of ridiculousness I was not ready for today. I'm starting to come down. Uh, again, uh, I just simply told you you could not ride in the elevator while you, high. No, 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 no. You said I could. You said I could. You said I could, and I have it. I wrote it down for evidence. Before you told me you were going to take drugs and hang uh-huh. out there for yeah. hours. Save it for the court, okay? Because this isn't going to be it. You're not going to argue. Yeah. If you're calling the police and I'm calling the sheriff, we're all going to probably go to jail tonight. So we'll have to sort it out in court. I, I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll just lie to the sheriff, and I'll tell him that, I don't know, you tried to touch my foot or something, and I asked you not to. I tried to touch your foot through over the phone, and that's what you're going no, to No, earlier, for. earlier, when I was checking out or checking in or getting my cigarettes or something, you were like, oh, let me see that foot. And I was like, no I... way. And then you touched on it anyway, and then the sheriff will put you in jail. So, okay. I, as the operator somehow molest your foot while you're in, 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 the the th- in the place yeah when i kids when i was there you mm, said bring that foot okay, over okay, here okay, you said okay. bring that yeah, 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 you yeah, said yeah, ooh yeah. baby bring that foot over here and i was like whoa you're crazy no way no way lady get away from me and then you touched it anyway i'll tell the i'll tell the sheriff and i'll say you hit me and that you were drunk Give me just one second here. I'll tell him I was drunk, too. I'll splash beer on myself so I smell like your alcohol. Phone. Be sure to use the quick <laughs> rebook feature. Uh, by the way, can I get your last name number real quick? Uh, by the way, no. Why would I help you? If you're trying to get me all arrested and, and thrown in jail forever, why would I help you? I thought you wanted to talk to the sheriff, sir. I'm going to call the sheriff. I'll give the sheriff my name. The sheriff's going to get your name, and he's going to give it to me. I'm not stopping you from calling the sheriff, sir. He's going to get your name. He's going to get your ID. He's going to get your license number, and he's going to give it to me. He's going to give that information to you. Oh, I'll ask him. I'll ask him for it. Yeah, and he'll give it to me. Okay. Traveling with kids damp- <laughs> isn't always easy, but don't worry, you're not alone. Hello. All right. Oh, hello. What's hello? going on? Uh, what what keeps happening? I'm scared of all that those uh, advertisements flying at my face. Wow, it's called a hold, first of all. Second okay, of all, well, a uh, lot of places no, will play not. something like Phil Collins' music or something, you know, an old Madonna song or, or something like that, but not you wow, guys. It's wow. just all, ooh, buy this, Lucky buy that. Use Lucky our cream. Use our ointment. Use our cream. Anyways, 
Anyways, we know that you're not in the elevator since we do have a security. No, I've been waiting. Our- I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. I told you. You're waiting on something that isn't going to happen. When that security man gets, I'm going to peek and peek. And when he's gone, that's when I'm going in there. Again, since you've told me that, I will now have our security team just regularly check. And they'll go through the pockets. No, no one is going to search your pockets. I don't know why you have this obsession about wanting to be caught. Obsession? Who's obsessing? I'm not obsessing. Why would you think that I'm obsessing? No I haven't one... been obsessing at all. And now out of nowhere, you just start accusing me of obsessing, and I'm not obsessing. Why would you even think that I was obsessing? What evidence do you have that I'm obsessing about anything? There's no obsessing here. Well, first of all, you're the one that keeps bringing up checking people's pockets. That's yeah, but you brought up obsessing, and I'm not obsessing. I'm not obsessive. I don't do anything obsessive. Why would you think I'm obsessive? First Jesus. of all, you don't listen, and you are still trying to ride the elevator. You're the so one who's obsessing about this whole elevator thing. You just give it up. Just let I it go. I'm going to ride it. Chill out. Chill out. No. I'm going to ride it. No, I'm not going to have someone... Oh, quit obsessing about the elevator. Oh, quit, quit. obsessing. Oh, my God. You're the one who's, oh, my God. Stop it. Knock it off. Please knock it off. I just want to ride the elevator. I'm not going to do nothing. in Paradise Package and get an extra night for free. Oh, are you still there? Hello? Hello? Why do you keep putting me on hold? Please stop doing that. It's not very professional. Uh, again, it actually is my profession to be are the, the operator and answer there? other Are the police calls? there? Are the police there yet? The police are on the way if you would like oh, to actually Jesus. come out and talk to security that are, I don't, you know, no, I don't want to the... see them. I don't want to see policemen. They smell funny. And they're always trying to sniff on me and ask what I got. And I don't need that neither. So, like, are you actually checked in with the, us? Are you somebody's guest? Are you here for a party? or? I don't feel like I have to answer that at this point if you're trying to incriminate me. Is it really incriminating? I'm a good, listen, listen. Okay, look, I'm going to get my, I got my shoes, they're on, check. I got my wallet in my back pocket, check. I got my car keys and my room key, check and check. And I've got so a little high, a check. And I'm ready to ride that elevator now. So I have got, I didn't, listen, I was going to hang up because you put me on hold for so long. But unlike you, I'm not a rude, terrible person who's mean and, and bad at my job. So I didn't want to just be rude and hang up while I'm on hold. So I wanted to say thank you for your service and everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go have smoke some cigarettes. I'm going to smoke a bunch of cigarettes. And on, um, when you least expect it, boom, elevator. Ready? So I will just tell our security guard to look for someone who's about to smoke a bunch of cigarettes. A whole bunch of them, yeah. A whole bunch of them, and will make their way over to the elevator. No, 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 not when you're expecting it. If he's expecting it, I won't go. I'll wait till he's least expecting it, and I'll just smoke oh, more here's cigarettes. Here's the thing about people who are actually employed and, you know, working. Mm-hmm. They can have a report and just, you know, regularly check somewhere. That's when I'll sneak. That's shift. when I'll. That's when I'll. Di- I'll duck out when he's not you looking. You know, whatever super sleuth little, you know, it's double seven listen. thing you want to try out. Go ahead. Thank you for the permission. Go, I love go you ahead. too. I, I do not care. Do Our you? people will take care of it. Our security guards will take care of it. So if you just want to attempt it, go ahead. Would Probably you like any cigarettes? Would you like any cigarettes of mine? I'll bring you a few. Oh, I definitely don't want yours. And just in case you were wondering, okay, because I don't want there to be any trouble, I got um, both my my shorts and my underpants around underneath them, so there's not going to be any issues there, okay? Well, I don't want you trying to say that... What is going on, man? This is really, really rude. Can you stop doing that, please? Again, I am an operator. I will be taking other calls. Is there someone that, okay, do you have any different holds you could put me on that have music or something that is more entertaining? I'm already a customer. I don't need to be advertised. Again, uh, you will not be our customer for long. We are police over. Oh, bullshit. Are the police here? We're on the line with them right now, actually. Uh, can, can you three-way? I would need my legal right to talk to them. And I'm not going to flee the scene by hanging up on you. I got nothing to hide. I'm just trying to ride a fucking elevator. You guys are crazy. Uh, I would say it's like probably from 20s to 30s. Doesn't seem older. If you put me on, I'll tell them a whole description. You could tell me the description and I can relay that to them. But I can lie to you, legally. 
I'm a small Asian woman. Okay. I can't lie to the police what? or I'll go to yes, straight to jail yes. then. I, I don't know what kind of idea of the legal system you have, but technically whatever lie you can tell to them or tell to me, you can tell to them. Well, you can so tell them that I said again, that I was a small Asian woman, but put, I'm lying. Cannot put you on a three-way call. Can you hold the phones end to end? Can I hold the phone end to end? Yeah. I guys gotta, I gotta get going on this elevator and cigarette deal going on here pretty soon, and I don't want to be on the phone for another hundred hours. Again, I don't care if you smoke cigarettes, but this elevator thing is not. Gonna I'm not happen. gonna smoke. Listen, I'm not gonna smoke them on the elevator. I'm not an idiot, okay? You're not going to do the elevator joyride trip. Well, at whatever this you point, planned. at this point, I'm just gonna leave the drugs in the room because I think you are gonna go through my pockets. And then if the police ask about it, I'll just lie to them about that, too. So, and then you'll be the only one going to jail, because there are no drugs then. You're already medicated, and you've already told me that you've medicated, and I've already told the police. You're medicated. Do a sobriety test. Can I talk to the woman, please? She sounds like she's actually in charge, and you just started, like, two weeks ago. We are co-workers. She is not my boss. We are... Just literally Wait, working together. Yeah, but you just started, and she's been doing this for a couple of years. I do not care. She's the front desk supervisor. Well, she's the no, front desk supervisor. Not. I heard, just heard her, and so she's lying to the police then, and then that's against the law, and no. she's going to go to jail with all of us. First of all, you are barely hearing a conversation. I have an iPhone. Barely. I can hear it. You have an iPhone? I can hear I it. I thought you had an Android. Well. Anyways. <laughs> oh, well, uh, anyways. You're eavesdropping. You don't know what you're talking about. Because just, that's not what she said. Again, I just want to ride the elevator. The I just want to ride the elevator, and I want to talk to the policeman. I want to ride the elevator and talk to the policeman. You can go out, talk to the security, and can I then ride, talk okay. to the policeman when they come there. Can I ride the elevator? What? Can I ride the elevator until It'll the policeman gets here? Yes, you can. You can absolutely ride the police. Or you can absolutely ride the elevator. Will the policeman ride in the elevator with me? Go ahead. Go to the elevator. So I have your permission, then. Give me just one second. What elevator what? are you getting me on the way to? Well, do I have your permission or not? Why are you calling the police I to give me permission? You You're trying to entrap me. You're trying to do an entrapment at me, and I don't like it. Stop. I mean, I just don't believe this is your plan. I just maybe think maybe you just got distracted, entertained, and you feel like bothering someone who's just working. So what okay. elevator are actually going to go to? Whichever one you least expect it. That's what I've been trying to explain to you. It's it's going to be like a shadow in the nighttime. You'll never know. You'll never know what elevator I'm on until I'm already riding it. Through the app. Stop it, you and what... Hi, this is uh, the other operator. Uh, what? So okay. what's going on? Which uh, what ele elevator are you in so we can meet you? Where's the policeman? He's on his way. Put him well, on we the need phone. To know I need to defend myself for legal. We need to know where you're at so we can have him go talk to you. No, I will come to where he is, or or we can ride on the elevator together. Yeah, sure. Go to the front lobby and he'll meet you there. No, I want to talk to him on the phone first so I know there's no funny business going on. Because she keeps saying she's not going to go through my pockets, but I don't want anyone to go through my pockets. Oh, no one's going to go through your pockets. I'm still going to leave. Gonna... I'm going to leave anything that I shouldn't have on me. I'm going to leave it in my room because I think you're trying to trick me in. Yeah, go ahead and leave it in your room, okay. and you and can meet him at the lobby, and the police so officer clear, will be there. Just so we're clear, and we're on the same mm -hmm. page, I called to ask permission to ride the elevator, correct? Yeah, sure. And you mm -hmm. called the police? Uh, I believe we did, yes. Okay, okay, so, okay, I'm just, so just making sure. So they'll meet you in the elevator. Just making sure I got the facts straight, so if someone asked to ride the elevator, um, before they even get on it, you're calling the police on them, and that's how you treat your guests here at the Hilton. Go ahead and meet the uh, PD in the uh, front lobby. No, no, I'm not going to. So I thought that's what you wanted to do. Well, then I've, I've changed my mind, and I have that right. Oh, oh okay. I wanted to talk well, to him on the phone first. I'm not going to come down there and get ambushed by a SWAT team and six helicopters. Think I'm a fucking idiot? Well, they'll just go to your room. They don't know where I am. I'm hidden. Oh, yeah, we do have your room number. I don't think so. Tell me, and I'll confirm it. I won't tell you. You tell, tell me. me. No, you tell me I'll and I'll confirm, confirm it. it. No, for my safety, for my customer safety, I'll confirm it. 
sir, I'm not going to give you your room number. I'll just you send the police it. to your room. I'll, okay? no, I have pants on. I won't have any pants on. Don't come in. I'm masturbating. Oh, okay. Thank That's you. That's fine. That's I'm allowed. You all damn right. It's fine. I'm allowed to masturbate as much as I want when I pay for the room. That's right. You do. So thank but you. But that's please, not going to stop the police please. from No, from it going will. And they're not going to come in while I'm masturbating. That'd be sexual harassment. Thank you. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. So whatever you so want. The, if I don't get to talk to them on the phone, then I don't want to talk to them. Period. Well, they're not going to wait on the phone for well, you. Well, I'm not. They're I've been waiting on, a half a goddamn heading. hour. I've been waiting half a goddamn hour to talk to these policemen, and they just oh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. I think she's a liar, and I want her written up for lying. Oh, certainly. She'll get written up. And write yourself for... up, too, because she said you guys are even equals. So you write her up. She'll write you up. Turn it into your boss. I'll call to confirm that. Okay. Do you want to talk to the boss now? Are they there? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Okay, hold on. It shows, like, just the uh, last 4, 16, 36. But just let Patrick know because they're going to be there. 16, 36? Mm-hmm. I guess that's the last couple... Hello? Hello, this is Eddie with security. Oh, I want, a, I want a policeman. I don't want to talk to a stupid security guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, he, they're on their way, sir. That's what they they're keeps, on their they way. just keep saying it and saying it and saying it. Maybe you can clear this up for me. All that Please. I asked them was for a maximum time that I can be on the elevator, and they got all super weird on me and kept putting me on hold. Right, right. Yeah, so we just want to check on your welfare, make sure everything's okay, make sure you get to where you need to be. On the elevator. Know. I want to ride the elevator up and down. What's wrong with that? Is that against the law or some shit that I didn't know about? Or oh, what the it's, fuck it's is going on? No, you're right, sir. It's definitely not against the law. Okay. Definitely not. We right. just want to make sure. Yeah, is it okay if I just touch down with you, talk with you, and then, man, you could ride the elevator all night. That's all I needed to hear. I don't need any more welfare checks. I'm good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you mind if you just give me, like, the room number that you're near and I can uh, just talk to you? What, you're, do you're, I not doing you... nothing, you're not doing nothing wrong at all, sir. I just want to, you know, just I'm talk to you. you. That's all. You talked a little sense into those ladies because they're fucking crazy, man. They're they're going, yep, 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 yep. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, bitch, shut the fuck up. You know? I, I hear you, though. I live, okay. I live with Thank them. you. Do you <laughs> want to Do you want to ask me, like, what the date is or the president or something? No, not at all, sir. How about just oh. the room number that well, you're Well, no, 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 no. I, I thought you wanted to check my welfare. So if you wanted to make sure that I'm cognizant and everything. So, hey, do this. Throw a math problem at me. Uh, what's two plus two? Four. Look at that. Real quick. Like like a wicket. Like a quick, like a wicket. Nice. And you know what I tell my kids? What's two and two? And they'll say four, and I'll say, well, three for me, one for you. Is what I say. That, you know? part doesn't, that doesn't make sense there. That doesn't happen. <laughs> All right, then. Well, thank you for all your time and all your efforts. And if well, you about, ever it, need a, a, about, anything from me, just let me know. I got you, man. Man, I'm here for you, man. I, you know, I, I make movies and everything, man. I got a movie coming out pretty soon, any day now. Okay. So, you, you know, know. Would you like to plug your movie? Yes, please. I, I like to plug my movie every single time. Okay, go ahead. And if, I, if I could see you, you know, if I could see you and have you, um, you know, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I will. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's... Is it okay if I see you face to face? No. What's your I'm name, not, sir? I'm no, sorry. no, 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 no. I told her I'm going to be masturbating before I ride the elevator because I don't want to have an erection or anything on the elevator. Masturbating. So I'm going to be up in the room masturbating, and I don't want anyone to come up while I'm doing that. And how, that would, how about just a, oh, so you're in a room? That would, it'd be inappropriate for you to come up while I'm masturbating, and I won't have pants on. So thank you, though. I appreciate All the. Right. I appreciate it. Do you want to? Well, I had to say, sir. Yeah, I had to say that that uh, we're going to continue to look for you, man. You know, no, can't, thank can't you. Give up, oh, can't give up on you. Oh no, thank you, please. You said I'm not breaking the law, so I'll just be left alone. Thank you. And you can tell the police to go fuck themselves and go away when they get there, because I'm not breaking the law and I don't need any service from them. So thank you. All right, sir. So uh, do you need anything like any water or anything? No, just you, you, you might get dehydrated your, up there. Tell your staff to stop harassing me and leave me alone while I'm on the elevator later when they least expect it. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night, sir. Appreciate it. I love you, too. Good night. Bye.
Yes. Yeah. 